ladies and gentlemen, it's Blind Date, and here is your host, Miss Scylla Black. to another blind date which if you are rearrange the letters you know do you know what they say nice. well I shall tell you <laughs> they say bald knithead <laughs> it's funny what you think of in the dressing room isn't it it's just, it's just, I've been working that out well we haven't got any bald knitheads here for you tonight but what we do have are three young men all looking for a blind date and they're over here let's go and meet them with you number one what's your name and where do you come from my name is Tom and I'm from East Sussex hi Tom what do you do in East Sussex I'm a lighting engineer in a nightclub really yes. in, in a nightclub yes. have you ever had any interest in artists at your East Sussex club um well, we've had a few acts but none of them really good Oh, don't say <laughs> You have really just lost your job. <laughs> <laughs> At that nightclub, I'm going to move swiftly on to you, number two. <laughs> what is your name and where do you come from? Hello, Scylla. I'm David and I'm from Sheffield. What do you do up there in Sheffield, I'm David? I'm the manager of an estate agent. It's a lovely job. Have you bought? Have you managed to buy, buy yourself a good house and everything? Not yet. I've got a flat in Sheffield, so. You've got a flat. That'll do for the minute. <laughs> and if you were, you know, to take an ideal lady back to that flat in Sheffield, I mean, who would it be, David? Come I'll on. I'll do with someone, a bit of charm, charisma, a bit of presence. So, <laughs> like Gabriella Sabatini. Gabriella Sabatini. She would have you for breakfast. <laughs> Good luck for tonight, love. What about you, number three? Uh, what's your name and where do you come from? Evening, sir. My name's Charlie and I'm from Devon. Oh, love. <laughs> What you do down there in Devon? I'm a self-employed builder. What do you build? I mean, houses or shops? Yeah, ex and... Extensions, mainly. Extensions. extensions. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you look all previous. Or extends to being picked. <laughs> I really do. May the best man win. All right, enjoy yourselves. I'll see you in a moment. See you later. Those are our three lads, each hoping to go on a date. So let's meet the girl one of them will be dating. And she's Maria, and she's from Belfast. Come in, Maria. Oh, Maria, we've got three very likely lads beyond those screens we have. Now, tell us what you do for a living, as if I didn't know. I mean, you work in a, a sales assistant, don't you? In a chocolate shop. I like to think of myself as chief taster, you know. A chief taster? <laughs> yeah, I'll, be, they, a, I'll be a roly-poly by Christmas time. A roly-poly by Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> so they let you have the chocolates, do oh, they? Oh, something like that. <laughs> well, there's three hopefuls beyond those screens, uh -huh. Maria. Um, oh, well, they're all waiting for more than a box of chocolates. <laughs> they are waiting for you. Now, you've got three questions to I ask. I have indeed, yeah. Well, off you go. Then. Okay. Now, number three. On a first date, what do you worry about most and why? On my first date with you, the, first, the main thing I'd worry about is where we'd have our second date. Because one night <laughs> with you certainly wouldn't be enough. Hello? <laughs> 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 
Not bad. Number two. Good evening, Maria. Hiya. I think I would worry um, about people discovering I was a millionaire. And also <laughs> the fact that people often confuse me with Richard Gere because I'm an officer and a gentleman. Wow. <laughs> I need a moment to recover. <laughs> okay, number one, let me have it. <laughs> yeah. um, I think I'd be worrying, worrying if you were wearing high heels, because if you were, you wouldn't be able to push start my car. <laughs> That's what I'd worry about. <laughs> <laughs> Getting there. You've got two more questions right. to ask. Now, my second question. I have studied botany for four years, so I consider myself quite an expert on the plant kingdom. Tell me, what plant would you compare yourself to and why? Number three first. Well, that's an incredibly difficult question. <laughs> But uh, I suppose if you really pushed me into a corner, I'd have to say I'd be like an oak tree. Because I'm big, tall, strong, and a little bit naive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Beat that, number two. Well, I'm a bit naughty, you know. <laughs> but failing that, I think I'd uh, be a, a Venus fly trap. A what? A Venus fly trap. <laughs> Venus fly trap. Just once I've got hold of you, there's no getting away. <laughs> right, and number one? I think I'd compare myself uh, to the Fatus Slobicus <laughs> uh, Dietus Atticus Weekendicus. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's Latin, you know. <laughs> Because... <laughs> Go on, translate. That means eating, drinking and dieting at the weekend. <laughs> right, third question. Now, love, they say, is keeping no secrets. Is there anything that you would keep for me? Number three. There's only one secret I keep from you, and that would be the incredible amount of money that I'd be prepared to spend on you, on the meal and the flowers <laughs> and the car and the music. You know everything else about me, but I'd never let on how much I'd spend on you. <laughs> I'll <clap> that one. <laughs> now, number two. No, I wouldn't have any secrets. Nope. Nothing you know, at all? You no. Know, do you know what that means? Quite. It must be love. <laughs> And last but not least, number one. Well, some people sometimes call me James Bond. <laughs> um, and frankly, dear, there have been no secrets being kept from you. Um. <laughs> well, I never thought I'd say this to James Bond. Is that all there is? <laughs> well, that's your three questions, Maria. It's not going to be easy. <laughs> well, it's simple as one, two, three to me. Don't make your mind up yet, because here's Graham with a quick recap. Well, Maria, will you choose come number one come for your blind date come <laughs> Or maybe number two, who can hardly wait to get you into his tender trap. He's a bit of a fly lad, isn't he? <laughs> or how about number three, who thinks he's like an oak tree? Wooden and thick, the decision is yours. Maria, come on, who's it going to be? Number one, number two, number three, it's your choice. Very difficult, but I go for it. Number two? <laughs> oh, dear. Yes. Well, it was a very popular choice for the audience there. 
But for me, they were all popular choices. But, oh, you turned down two, and I'd better tell you, you turned down. First of all, you turned down number three, and that was Charlie from Devon, the bricklayer. He's wonderful. <laughs> Any regrets? <laughs> Ask me that later. Okay. <laughs> you also turned down number one, and that was our Tom from East Sussex. Come in, Tom. Oh, <laughs> Are you ready for this? No. <laughs> Well, he's ready for you because your blind date for this one. <laughs> yes, it's number two. It's David from Sheffield. Come in, David. <laughs> wow. Wow. Come on, before you pick a card, I mean, what do you think, Maria? Come on. Quite impressed. <laughs> Quite impressed. What about you, David? Very nice indeed. Yeah. Really? We'll have a good date. <laughs> You'll have a good date? Well, I hope so, because who's going to pick or... I'll let him do the picking. No, pain. ladies first. I've got to. <laughs> you haven't even gone on the date yet. Though, <laughs> you pick it together and you read it. Okay. Oh, I've never had one do doing it together. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they've done it together. That's the first. What does it right. say, Maria? Come on. A day out in Amsterdam. <laughs> They've never been to Amsterdam. You're going to have a fabulous time. <laughs> Can we leave Got straight you. away? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Only if you bring me back some duty-free. Will you do we'll that? Do, we'll we'll do. Do. God bless you, ladies and Thanks gentlemen. So. Maria and David. See you next time.